No time to be scared. I just have to dive right in. You can do this, Ken. Son, you're as powerful as I'd expect. Brilliant! Did everybody see that? Great job, Ken. Excellent results. It's a new record! Of course, we're still going to try and top it. You've broken yet another barrier. you're talking about my most sincere apologies given the current circumstances there was nothing I could do well I understand I just wish you were here what's wrong Ken oh nothing important you know who we're talking about though right leader It's about Koromaru, isn't it? Yes! I'm so glad you remembered Koromaru! Well, how could I forget about him? To be more accurately specific, the topic is the absence of the dog. I mean, Koromaru. You arrived in the midst of Ken exhaustively interrogating and scolding me on this point. Uh, I wasn't exactly scolding you. I just... I just feel like Koromaru is part of our team, too. In complete honesty, I planned this ball to coincide with my master's abs. I mean, it is pure, unbounded coincidence that it was arranged for such a time. Uh-huh. Anyway, while there was a good chance that it would have posed no issues in the end, my master could have reacted strongly against admitting a quadruped guest here. In more direct terms, the thought alone made me fear for my life. 
It's just unfortunate is all. I'm sure Koromaru would have been a real good dancer. <gasps> How unprecedented! Do you truly mean that Fido Maru possesses an ability to dance? Well, it's Koromaru. And I would guess he's even more physically capable than we are. He should be able to dance, don't you think? I mean, considering that he can wield a knife pretty well and can summon a persona, I mean, Kormaru is very acrobatic, so it's possible that he'd be able to dance pretty well. Uh, I don't know if he's that good. Is he? Have you seen him take care of Shadows, Ken? He does flips. What a revelation. I was unaware that Barkoromaru had such exceptional talent. Upon deeper consideration, I now recall his persona summoning despite being quadrupedal. I don't think quadrupedal has really anything to do with it. Not only that, but he could understand human speech and fought well alongside you all. In a sense, he could well be the most extraordinary unpoochly pooch ever. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. Kodomaro is pretty amazing, isn't he? Now that I envision it, the cat from the opposing team versus your dog. If only... Cat? Wait, you mean there's a cat that can dance on the other team? So if it was fine for them to bring a cat, why wouldn't it have been good to bring Koromaru? Yes, while somewhat overbearing, he is a fully kitted, or fully kittened, dancer. A cocky dancing cat. Nope, I can't even imagine that. I think I can. Well, whatever. I already decided that I would dance enough for Koromaru's sake, too. That way, when we return, I can pet him and say I worked hard enough for the both of us. That's the way. I'm sure he'd be proud. Just so you know, I don't plan on losing to you either. Oh, I wasn't implying that. You know how I was the last one in the dorm to become a Persona user? Yeah? Since I joined the fight late, I really struggled to catch up to you all. But here, we all started at the same place. I'm not letting myself fall behind this time. <laughs> uh, whoa, I... Everything went black there for a second. Not sure if that got picked up or not. But, I mean, technically Shinjiro was the last one to join us, but he was already a Persona user, so I guess in a way... Ken was the last to gain a persona. All right, how about some practice? I've got to dance for Koromaru's sake, too. <laughs> All right, Ken, let's dance. Oh no, what's Junpei doing to Ken Kun this time? Hey, what's up, leader? We're in the middle of a secret training session. We were trying to figure out the best way to do a spin. A spin? Yeah, he came up to me just begging for help. Guess I've grown to be pretty reliable, huh? Just goes to show that I'm good at looking out for my little juniors, right? Uh, no. I just asked you about it because you happen to be here. But do you actually have some dancing experience, Junpei-san? Huh? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I, I guess not. <laughs> so you don't, huh? That's a relief. Maybe I do have a chance then. <laughs> you can do it. Thanks, I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> don't get too cocky, kid. I'm a grown man now, you know. I've got a bit of an advantage. Hmm. Uh. Um. Say, Ken, you don't have a girlfriend, do you? What? No, I don't. Why are you even asking me? Whew. 
don't know what I would have done if you were just like, um, yeah? Well, I do get love letters from the girls in my class. Oh! What? You're kidding! What do they say? I don't know. I don't read through them. Really? I'm not really interested in that right now. We have more important things to do. Ah, oh, man. A grade schooler with love letters? I figured that could only be an urban legend. Well, I have thought about saying yes before. It could have been fun to dance together. But I don't know how to talk to girls. And dating seems really daunting. Been there. Dude, you're hopeless. And look at you, all blushing. Obviously, a total noob. Hey, don't call me hopeless. You're in the same boat as me, aren't you, Junpei-san? Are you kidding? He's even worse off than you. Yo, quick question. Do you think you're helping right now, or do you just hate me? I'm trying to help Ken out. There's no question in my rep. Classy chicks, gothic lolitas, they're all crazy about me. Okay, only one of those things is true, and you know it. I can't even walk down the street without getting mobbed by fangirls, you know? <sighs> okay, sorry, I lied. So, what about you? You're asking if he's a hit with the chicks, right? So, what do you say? Wait, you're gonna turn this on me? Uh, well, I should have seen this coming. Um... Well... I will admit that I already have someone. Really? Oh, I get it. I hear you, man. Everyone's free to have someone they like. Chatting with just the guys like this is nice every now and then. It's kind of hard to speak my mind when girls are around. Ken, did you just admit you're always surrounded by girls? So, this is what guy talk is like, huh? This is kind of fun. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get crude, it can be fun. Uh, this conversation's gone nowhere. Come on, let's dance, Ken. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You're joining too, right? Well, since I'm here, may as well. Oh, that actually turned out better than I was expecting. No time to be scared. I just have to dive right in. Don't worry, you'll pull it off. Got it. Easy enough. Nice, keep it up. Whoa. Right here. Mm. Easy enough. Uh -huh. Absolutely amazing. Gotta get ready for this right here. Hey, yo. Uh. 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 Now, let's do it! 
Yukari you're talking about. Wow, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. A leader! Ken and I were just chatting about superheroes. Superheroes? Live action superhero shows. He's gonna get the wrong idea if you say it like that. Oh, okay. We thought it might be cool to adapt some superhero poses into dance moves. We were talking strictly about dancing. It definitely wasn't some childish conversation. Uh-huh. Wow, Ken, that must really bother you, huh? You don't have to act so mature, you know. I I'm not acting. Okay, okay. So who's your favorite hero, Ken? Oh, what's that show airing now? Mongolian Girl? <laughs> Pretty sure the biggest thing is Featherman R, right? It's Featherman R. Where did you get that Mongolian girl from? I mean, I only know because I hear a lot about it from my friend who likes it. Uh-huh. Turning superhero moves into dance moves does sound really fun, though. Doesn't it? Superhero stunts are so incredible. While other shows rely heavily on CG, those actors are still so devoted to their roles. And they're all just so intense and stylish, is what my friend says about them. Wow, I didn't think it was that old-fashioned. Or should I say, analog. Yeah, superhero shows have been using the same filming techniques since the old days. Their movements were originally adapted from Kabuki Theater. Kabuki? Do you know what Mie is, Yukari-san? Um, is that that thing where they go, Yo, and then strike a pose? Yeah, that's it. Well, apparently, superhero poses originate from Mie in Kabuki dancing. Whoa, I never would have guessed that. That's kind of interesting. How about this? Do you know why the superhero team leader's color is red? I'm guessing that that also has something to do with Kabuki. Wow, you're right! Did you already know that? Considering where the conversation was before, that wasn't really that hard to guess. It's from Kabuki dancing. You know the makeup that the actors wear? Red is for justice, and blue is the color of evil. 
Some people theorize that superhero team leaders get their color from that. Wow, I had no idea. Hey, if we were all divided into colors, what would we be? Yukari-san would be pink, Mitsuru-san would be white. Would Junpei-san be green? Uh, I don't think Junpei should get such a cool color. He's more of a brown or peach. <laughs> That's harsh. There are no superheroes with those kinds of colors. What color would our leader be? I think blue is fitting for some reason. Is it the hair? It's the hair, isn't it? Now, I mean, if we're talking about leaders and whatnot, wouldn't red be my color? Oh, it's gotta be red, right? He's our leader, after all. By the way, which color would I be? Hmm. If I'd have to wager a guess, I'd say... orange. Not red. I figured as much. I'd like to be red, but I'm not good enough to be a leader yet. Someday, though, I want to become a leader just like you. Aww. I want to stand front and center before all the other heroes dressed entirely in red. <laughs> Ken, I'm rooting for you. You'll get there one day. Oh, wait. We're supposed to be turning superhero poses into dance moves, right? Oh, yeah. So, superhero teams have these group poses that they do. Oh, man. I totally wanted to do a Ginyu pose. We gotta bring Akihiko and Mitsuru in here. Then we'd have the whole team. Oh, well. Ken and Fuka are here. Oh, uh, leader. How's it going? Good. Surprised to see you two here. We were just taking a break. All that dancing made me thirsty. I was surprised to see all the same drinks that are in our dorm's vending machine. Right. That might be thanks to LP. Our rooms are laid out exactly the same, too. That way, we can go about our day as usual. I wouldn't have minded some different drinks, though. The vending machine's always stocked with the same stuff, and they're all so plain. Who actually decides what goes in it? I like yellow mist, though. I always end up buying one after a bath and stuff. How do you handle the carbonation in that one? It always burns my throat. Oh, I suppose that's true. Did you have a favorite soft drink, Leader? From the dorms vending machines? Uh... Well, Cielo Mist was nice, but I'm more of a Dr. Salt person myself. That's the medicine tasting one, right? Wait, are you sure we had that one at the dorm? Did we have it? I'm pretty sure we did. Speaking of drinks, I think someone made some coffee earlier. It smelled really good. Oh, yeah. I smelled it, too. I wonder who. Who makes coffee at the dorm? I mean... Could be LP, but somehow I I have doubts. You think maybe it's someone from the other team? Yeah, it's possible. I don't think they were from around here. It didn't smell like cheap coffee either. It was well brewed, like from an actual cafe. So for coffee, you have to roast the beans, grind them, and boil them in a pot, right? Why go through all that trouble just for some bitter drink? <laughs> it's an acquired taste for adults, Ken-kun. You're not quite ready yet. 
I just meant that... that that's a lot of effort. I like coffee, too. I hope. Aww. Weird, though. Apparently, there's enough to be able to make coffee. Huh. Well, I mean, if there are other areas that kind of look like the dorms, then maybe there's enough to make the look like LeBlanc in the other section. Oh, Mitsuru and Ken are in here. Oh, it's you. Are you here to practice? Yeah, hope I'm not interrupting. I was just asking Mitsuru-senpai to help me with my studies. According to LP, we'll lose all memory of this dream once we wake up. So Amada decided he wanted to attempt an experiment. Mm-hmm. It's called Hypnopedia. That's when memorization takes place while unconscious. Really? Yeah, it'd be great if it worked. So I wanted to give it a shot. Well, no harm in trying, I guess. In any case, I was impressed by his desire to study, even within a dream. That's why I decided to provide assistance. I have some other questions for you, though. Actually, they're for the both of you. The both of us? Like, how do I get people to follow me the way that others follow you two? I've always thought you're both so level-headed, so reliable. And I want to learn how to be mature like that. Hmm, how I lead. Sorry, I couldn't say. All I've done is follow my father's example. Mitsuru-senpai, I'd say you're the type to lead with your charisma. I don't think I could do that. Maybe it's a talent you have to be born with? Well, charisma is not the only path to leadership. There are other strengths as well. Yes, that's very true. It'd be better to find your own leadership method that suits you. My own method? Is that even possible? Of course. Between he and I, we lead in completely different ways. I believe it's not about which is best, but about loyalty and looking out for teammates. If you do that, I think you'll find your own method for leading. What do you think, Amara? I... I still have no clue. I guess I need to learn more about myself first. <laughs> now you're getting it. You're fine. There's no need to rush it. Thank you very much, both of you. My own way, huh? I've got a lot to think about. Well, that is true. Different leaders come in different forms. Plus, Ken's super young, so he's got a lot of time to develop his own leadership methods. I can handle this. Just watch. Looking good, kid. I'm expecting a good show. Woohoo, you're tearing it up! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
was so mature and it surprised me, Ken Kun. I feel a lot better with you as my support, Fukasan. Hey, hey, hey! That was great! Let's dance again sometime, Fukasan. Yeah, you got this! You can't stop it. Stop! Get it out of the park! I'm to sit down and sit down. I'm about to hit down when I'm in the box. Easy enough. I'm going to sit down and sit down. 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 I'm going to s
When I was your age, I was shorter than you are now. What? Really? I didn't start getting taller till middle school. And that growth spurt was a real killer. My point is, you never know what'll happen, so why worry about it now? Okay, I understand. But I still want to be able to hold my own in a fight. Ken, size doesn't matter in a fight. It's all about the strength of your fighting spirit. A desire to win or to protect someone. Your motivation is the real key to victory. You may not be tall right now, but your spirit is just as strong as all of ours. Sonata-san. That's right. Shinjiro-san was like that too. He probably wanted to protect his friends more than anything else in the world. He was always a mysterious one, but... I think you're right. Yeah. Then again, he was pretty tall, too. Oh, jeez. All right, Ken. Let's take a trip to my room. Huh? Why? It's not milk, but I've got a supplement that's perfect for bulking up. Oh, jeez. What? But you just said height isn't important. Well, if you want to be more like Shinji, putting on some weight should do you good. Okay. Good answer. Now let's go. I'll mix up a special blend even a grade schooler like you can handle. Uh, what? I mean, okay. That went from real wholesome to real worrisome real quick. But now we have Ken's room to look through. So we've got any number of different things to look at. There's always a fridge. Every room has a fridge. Actually, we can't have anything besides milk in here. He doesn't strike me as a soda person, especially after that conversation with Fuka. Uh, looks like some shirts here. All neatly in a pile. And on the floor. That's what the... That's what the text is focused on? Oh, I guess that was part of the backpack, too. Uh... Oh... You must still really miss her. books here. Hmm. <laughs> well, that would certainly explain a lot. A little Rubik's Cube right here. And also, a hamster. Wait. Hold on a sec. How is there a hamster in here? I like how the change it, it's that as well. There's kind of an interesting thing that I've heard, like just kind of rumors about when it comes to the dark hour and how every person just gets into a coffin. It's like, what happens to the animals? It's like, do they just vanish or do they have their own little coffins? And then I think I remember hearing somewhere, it's like, well, what about Ken's hamster? Is it just like a little coffin that's still rolling on the wheel? I don't know. It's stupid. But it just kind of reminded me of that. Anyway, there's a soccer ball here. Ken must really like soccer. Here's his bed. Is it? It looks a little bit shorter than everyone else's. Wait, there's a lamp, there's TV. 
Nothing really much there. Here's a map of the whole world. Hmm. I wonder where he would go. That or he's just really into geography. Uh, well, here's all his milk cartons. milk would necessarily be good for growth spurts. I know calcium would be good to strengthen bones. I think maybe there is something with bone growth as well. Hmm. I mean, I'm five foot eight and I hardly drank milk when I was a kid. I always drank juice. <laughs> so, who knows? There's also hereditary. I think her- I think genetics focus are a lot more important when it comes to growth than how much milk you drink. <laughs> anyway, here's a broom. I mean, we have seen him practice with this before. And he is a lance user, so... Ooh, a little pirate ship made out of milk cartons. <laughs> Milk cartons and chopsticks. Apparently he's pretty creative. Lots of books here. I think you see some manga there too. I guess Ken's really into history. At the very least it looks like some of these are series based. It may not necessarily be manga. Man, there's even more up here. Alright, well that's most everything. There's of course the closet. Probably also filled with clothes and then the sink. Which is just the standard sink. Very meticulous. Okay, well, that seems to be everything within Ken's room, so onward to rank seven. Oh, why is I guess here? Oh, you're here. Sorry for calling both of you over. That's not a problem. Is there something you need from us? Well, uh, I wanted to ask your impressions on my dancing. Sure. Thanks. I was afraid I'd be interrupting your practice. No, no, you're good. Understood. Which details of your dancing should I focus upon for my impression? I want a fair, thorough evaluation of my routine. No treating me like a kid. I know I can trust your opinion, leader, and Igasan always provides straight answers. I appreciate your trust. It is true that I am quite adept at analyzing data. I shall give you my fully honest opinion of your performance, Amada-san. Thanks. Please be as critical as possible. The first thought that comes to mind is that your dancing is exceptional. You're very dynamic, with plenty of lively moves. Watching you puts me in high spirits. The way you compensate for your stature with agility and wide arm movements is impressive. Your dancing is sure to reach the hearts of anyone watching. Uh, really? Wow, thanks! What's wrong, Amada-san? Is it strange for me to be moved by your dancing? No, not at all! I just didn't expect you to compliment me so much. I'm just really surprised, I guess. What about you, leader? What do you think of Amada-san's dancing? Hmm. Well, 
I think he's doing an amazing job. Not everyone can dance or have the imagination to dance, as the case may be. And considering the circumstances, I'd say he's doing really well. Jeez, you too? Amara-san, what is your own opinion of your dancing? I still have a lot of room to improve. I'm bad at spins, and I struggle to keep rhythm. I said I'd dance for Koromaru as well, but I can't even dance well enough for just myself. Self-criticism is a very important skill. It allows you to better yourself. However, overindulging in modesty risks affecting your ability to see your value. My honest opinion is that you dance very well. I think you should accept the compliment and use it to further motivate yourself. So, I need to accept more encouragement? Maybe that's true. Thank you, leader. I guess, son. Not at all. I really do enjoy watching you dance. I hope this doesn't come across as rude, but you really are human now, I guess, son. You're probably even more human than I am. Do you really think so? If that is the case, then it's only because I met all of you. You all are what allowed me to change. Me too. I wouldn't be able to smile like this if it weren't for everyone on the team. If my dancing skills are really as amazing as you both say they are, then it would be thanks to you that I can put my all into dancing. Aww. I mean... That's... That's really sweet, Ken, but we really didn't do all that much. Oh, are you being modest? I guess son just said that's not always wise. <laughs> okay, you got me. I think I'm gonna go practice for a bit. I wanna build on the feedback you gave me. That is a great idea. If you don't mind, I'd like to accompany you. Sure. This time, I'll point out all the awesome things about your dancing, I guess, son. Don't mind me. Okay. So I'm not sure there's really a whole lot that's different. Rank 7s aren't usually a whole lot different, all things considered. Although there are all of these. What are these, VHSs? They are all VHSs. Dance less... Wait. Where did it get these? And yeah, how would that... How does that even work? How did he get these VHS tapes? And how is he able to watch them? Okay. Ken, you got a lot of explaining to do. Alright, I don't see anything else that's different here. So, you know, let's just... On that weird note, let's go to rank 8. Well, we're here in Ken's room. Huh? What are you two doing here? courtesy call, if you will. I was terribly bored, so I invited him as well. Wait, that's the reason why? Uh, that's not much of a reason. Leader, don't you have some practicing to do? Managing a ball is a task so immense, even one such as myself requires a small respite. Oh, the ball, huh? We've danced quite a bit to develop our dancing skills, haven't we? I mean, we've certainly come a long way from when this first started, that's for sure. Thanks to your efforts, the hype for this ball has risen to a climax! 
I am wholly delighted. But it's just too bad. Once this ball ends, all of our efforts become meaningless. Right, LP? You said when we wake up from this dream, we'll just forget it all. Then again, it's not like I can imagine myself dancing anywhere after this. In fact, I don't really think it'll be at all useful to me in the future. Well, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's for nothing. That is correct. Even were you to forget, the night you danced here, priceless! This experience, locked within the depths of your mind, will no doubt be of use someday. I guess when you put it that way, it doesn't seem totally pointless. I'm not great at expressing myself, so at least it's done me some good in that regard. Hmm. However, there is indeed some validity to Ken's perspective. How does this strike you? If you don't wish for your experience here to go to waste, then why not pursue a career in professional dancing? What? A dancing career? L like what? Uh... What, you mean like an idol? Whoa. I'd never even thought of that. I guess you're right, though. I shouldn't write off the idea before considering it. Maybe I will end up becoming an idol. Or a dancer. Or an actor. Yes! I believe you refer to this as off the course. Ah... Uh... I would ride out into the setting sun right now, if only there were one here. Perhaps you coming here is now justified by having discovered your own potential. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Funny? My potential? It's about myself, but I couldn't realize that on my own. Anyway, for now, I'll focus on dancing. At least while we're here, I won't worry about whether or not it's pointless. <laughs> Alright, it's time we all do our best. Now that that's settled, I'm off to dance. I wonder if the floor's open. Woohoo! Our madcap ball is only beginning. Let's dance! Oh, jeez. Yeah! Let's go, LP! That Elizabeth. Okay. Um, oh. Hello. What's this? And spark in. Is that takeout? Hold the phone, what? I mean, it's definitely not the healthiest thing for him, just getting takeout bento boxes. But how? Where? What? <laughs> okay. Um, guess Elizabeth makes those, or just magics them into existence. There's also a stepping stool here. I'm not sure we actually saw this before. I mean, Ken isn't exactly the tallest person that we've, you know, gone over that he's not really all that tall, so him needing a step stool to reach some of those, not unreasonable. You go, little hamster. You go. Anyway, I think that will do it for us today, so join us next time for the final person and the final episode of this little sub-series. So I will leave you all with one final dance, and until next time, everyone, take care.